Tyler Logan here, and uh, I just picked up a Les Paul High Performance in 2017. I thought it looked so awesome, and um, decided I wanted to change some things about it. Uh, and right now, it's currently kind of taken apart. And for me, this is like world-ending stuff. Like I never take guitars apart. I'm not a tech guy. I'm not a repair guy. I decided that, you know what, I got to get outside of my box a little bit. And uh, this guitar plays so great. It's weight relieved. And um, when you're playing two and three hours at a time, having that thing on your shoulder, it's so nice for it to not. I used, I've owned four Les Pauls. None of them have been weight relieved. And I have some shoulder issues to <laughs> tell the stories of what happened. And uh, over here, um, Really what I was trying to do is I'm not a big fan of these chrome rings around the pickups. And uh, so I decided I was going to take them off. And kind of a word of advice um, before you do that, like make sure that when you're pulling it all out, you can see here these little screws where uh, the you can adjust the height of the pickups. There's a spring underneath there, which looks like this. You can see that. And... Uh, I, I pulled it up and it just shot inside the guitar. So, you know, word of advice when you're pulling it up, if you can get, find a way to sort of like hold that spring while you're pulling it up, yeah, that's a better way to do it. I also put this kind of poker chip here that I found online because, I don't know, I just want it to look more iconic. Cool thing is, I got it off. It's right here. And um, all it is, literally, is... Uh, if I take some of these screws out, the cream pick art is below it. It's just they have that little chrome thing on top of it. So I decided that I'm going to put this back on. Now, the question lies, can I do that? <laughs> cool thing is, um, you can see right here, they put little uh, rivets in the side to where it, it can show you where the pick guard is going to realign so see right here this dude is going to come in here because it matches much like over here you can see that they have it on this side as well and you can see it lines up with this dude on the pit guard so i'm gonna see how this goes um and uh get back to you guys on what it turns out like so see you in a minute Okay, so ran into a bit of a problem. Getting those springs back on is tough. I'm going to tell you what. I went online. This is not my idea. Okay, I cannot take credit for this. But getting these on, a hack. Okay, that is a Chick-fil-A straw with some duct tape. Not with duct tape, with some scotch tape, I mean. All right. That helps basically, like keep the spring in place so that you can push the screw on top down into it. I'm about to show you what that looks like. And uh, what's cool is the tapes on it. You just take it off and pull off the tape after it's said and done. As I'm doing that, I have good old Chick-fil-A straw, this and this. Okay, so we're gonna set up here. Is this guy all right I'm gonna take the straw I'm gonna take your screw right here you're gonna see where the screw is right and you're gonna come up against that and you want it to go about I don't know I like this and then you want to find the bottom of that and kind of pinch off with your finger Right there, the goal is not to cut yourself, which as musicians is tough. But luckily, we have the Lord's straw, the Chick-fil-A straw, protecting us. So what you want to do after that with this guy 
Let's cut that dude right down the middle. Once again, please don't cut yourself. And see that? Voila, voila. All right. Okay. You got your tape. All right, you want to put this on? Squeeze. Not super tight, but you just want to make sure it's on there. And then what your goal is, you're going to take this. All right, you see that, how it's in there? And then when you get down in there, you've got something to support and keep it all in line once you start putting it on your pickup ring. So once I put it in here, it's going to give a little bit of... Um, pathway for that spring to land into this groove at the bottom as you can see I successfully made it happen over here I'm gonna pull that tape off and it's just gonna be a spring there so uh we'll see how the rest of this goes like i said the lord's the lord's straw the chick-fil-a straw not by my strength or by my power saith the lord but by your spirit the spirit of the chick-fil-a straw here we go putting this on the last uh, part of this pickup right here. This is the bridge pickup and I have made once again the little uh, spring hack from the Chick-fil-A straw and scotch tape. And what I'm going to do first is place this through here. And you can see right here, you can see right here that that's where we're trying to screw the screw into. But we got to get the spring on it. So I'm gonna push the spring up just a little bit. All right, like this. Push that down through. All right, and now we're gonna use the, the straw to our advantage, keeping it in place. Keep the spring is tough to keep in place. All right, and we're gonna just aim for, we're gonna aim for, this hole right here, once we're fairly confident, we thread it. And voila, you can see that it held. Okay, now we're gonna get in and take this tape off. This took me forever on the neck pickups because oddly enough, pulling tape off of a really slick straw is more complicated than changing the pickup ring for me right now so uh i'm gonna get back to you guys after i pull this uh tape off and once i get this tape off i'll show you what to do with the straw and we'll keep going all right all right guys well mission successful seems as if that I got the pickup rings on there, right? I haven't put strings back on it, but it's looking good. This is kind of how I've always envisioned this Les Paul looking. Just really iconic, classic looking. I love the burst on this. It plays like a dream. It's weight relieved, so that's good for long-term health. <laughs> I'm going to put some new strings on this guy. If I can do this project, you can do this project. I'm the most mechanically illiterate person on earth. So that being said, now that I got my handy Chick-fil-A straw off of it. Oh yeah. Now we're going to go put some strings on this dude, test it out and see what we think. All right, guys. 